Parshas Achremos. In the Parsha of Achremos, chapter uh, 16, verse 6, it talks about Aaron shall bring his sin offering bull near and make a confession of atonement to protect himself and his household. This whole section begins to talk about the service of the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, on the Yom Kippur, on the day of Yom Kippur, uh, in the base of Migdash. So we're talking about uh, the holiest man in the holiest place on the holiest day of the year. And the service, the height of the service, is the offerings that will be brought into the Kodesh HaKadosh of the Holy of Holies, which is behind the, the last curtain in front of the Ark of the Covenant. And so there's a very uh, integral part of the service. And it says before doing so, he, Aaron has to bring his own uh, bull offering, a sin offering, to atone for himself and for his household. Now what's interesting is that the Mishnah learns from the idea of the, the household, the extra word here, that, uh, to, to atone for Aaron and his household. The Mishnah learns out that the Kohen Gadol has to be married. He has to be building a family. And that's an integral part. This parsha is, is also coming uh, off of the story of the death of Nodav and Avihu. So Achreim is after the death of Nodav and Avihu, Aaron's two sons. He had four sons. These are the two that, that passed away. So it says here that Nodav and Avihu, they didn't get married. They didn't seek to build a family. They sought, their, their goal was really all about spiritual ecstasy, a rapturous love of God and the spiritual things. And so they lost sight of God's desire, God's mission, which was to, to sanctify our lives, not to abandon our lives, but rather to, to take our lives and to bring out the holiness in the world itself. And that's the, the, the mission. So if you go back to the beginning of Abraishis, God created Adam and Chava, uh, Adam and Eve, in Gan Eden, the Garden of Eden, with the mission to make a dwelling place for God down here in the most physical, mundane of worlds. So Nodav and Avihu, they weren't seeking this mission of building a family and, and, and creating a dwelling place in the world. They wanted the spiritual ecstasy of joining and, and being a part of godliness. Uh, if you ever look at a uh, a, a candle on a, uh, with its wick and the flame there, if you bring it, a, a torch nearby, not ne right into it, but close to it, the flame will jump from the wick and join the greater power of the, of the, the torch itself. And so th that's a tendency. We will all want to be a part of something much bigger than ourselves, something much greater than ourselves. We want to be a part of that. And sometimes at the, the sacrifice of ourself or the loss of our own you know, desires and things. We let go of those things because of the bigger idea. And that's a great thing. That's a very powerful thing. Uh, and it's a natural thing, is to want to be a part of a much bigger, greater whole. But at the same time, we have to be aware of what the mission is. So, Nona van Avi, where they were sublime in their service. In fact, if we look a few parishes ago, um, Moses was saying to his brother Aaron upon their death, uh, that he knew that God had said that he would be sanctified by his holy ones. But Moshe said to Aaron, I thought that would be you and I. Now I realize that your sons are holier. And, and holy, kodesh, means separate. Separate from, from the world, separate from others. You know, a kiddush cup is a, is a cup that's kodesh. It's separate. It's not used for, for water and soda and, and drinking. It's used for making kiddush or sanctifying the day. So kodesh means to be a separate thing. And that's a great thing, the idea to, to, to be attracted to godliness in the spiritual world. That's a very important thing. But one has to remember the mission. Come back down from the spiritual high and all the things that come with that, the benefits that come with that, the excitement that comes with that, the energy that comes with that. Use that. Come back down to the physical world and use all that energy and that excitement and that ecstasy to do something constructive down in the physical world. In Hasidus, we call this rotsu v'shuv. There's this desire, this, this clinging to the divine, but now, come back. Come back and, and do the work down here in the, in the physical world. So, the holy of, holy, holiest man is going to the holiest place in the holiest day, and, and the goal to go into that holy place, and there'll be this, this absolutely sublime religious fervor 
and, 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 and ecstasy. And that's a great thing. But don't stop there. Come back. And that's why we see that it's so critical that the Kohen God will be married. Because the intention is that he should be grounded in what the real mission is, the purpose of all of this is, and to be able to go into the spiritual, have the spiritual high, and then use that to come back down and, and create a better world for, for all of us. And so it is the idea that uh, you know we want to imbue our families with the conviction that an increase in spiritual wealth of spiritual experience is a great thing. It's important to have time for prayer, a time for Torah study, um, and that, that will not take away from our financial success and our worldly success. In fact, quite the opposite, that will empower the success of our, 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 our physical missions here in the physical world because we will be powered by the energy of that spiritual excitement. And so on the holiest day of the year, the holiest man goes into the holiest place, but he has to be married because he has to be committed, totally committed to the mission, the goal, to create a dear batachtainim, a dwelling place for God, down here in the physical world. Have a great Shabbos.